Hello everyone, it's here and I welcome you to another episode of Library of Ruina. Last time, we did some general receptions after unlocking the, real le the level 4, or level 3, the level 3 of Rowan's floor. We have obtained the Mugman, okay that's one more episode ago, and yeah, I've given you a rundown of my build for Ketter and for Hod. Today, I want to lose my mind. I've already attempted this once. I don't like it. But yeah. Ah. But yeah, it's, it's, it's time to try this again. We didn't see the scene yet, so it's... So, uh... Because that was a recording that didn't happen. Put 
떠나기 전 아이들에게는 세대 문을 꼭 잠궈 두도록 일러 둡시다. 우리의 어머니, 이웃, 가족, 아이는 우리 부모들의 손으로 지키도록 합시다. 와, 정말 청소부들이 오는 거야? 청소부들이 밤이 아닐 때 목적성을 띠고 어디론가 향한다고 저렇게 유창하게 대화를 하며? 재밌네. 난좀더 천박할 거라 생각했어. 내가 통역사를 구해서 대화를 해본 적 있는데 그땐 무슨 단어 단위로만 말할 수 있는 줄 알았거든. 근데 저 정도로 완성한 문장을 말할 줄이야. 자기들끼린 저렇게 활발하게 이야기까지 하다니. 비싼 돈 주고 맡겼는데 완전 엉터리 바가지 통역사였다는 거네. <웃음> 그래서 저 청소부라는 건 모두 가족 관계인 거야? 자기들 간의 유대를 쌓기 위해 적당히 상징적인 단어로 부르는 거겠지. 저들도 실제 혈연으로 이어진 건 아닐 거야. 조직의 호칭이란 그런 법이지. But what are sweepers? 뒷골목의 아이를 납치한다고 들었어. 청소부는 너무 깊게 파고들지 않는 게 좋을 거야. 뒷골목뿐만 아니라 외곽까지 청소부들이 퍼져 있으니까. 네가 얻고자 하는 자유와도 별 관계 없을 것 같고. 이웃 여러분, 이곳이 도서관입니다. 뒷골목의 쓰레기들이 최근 시끄럽게 떠돌아다니는 그 도서관입니다. 머리도 도서관에 올 줄은 몰랐습니다. 환영합니다, 손님. 안녕하십니까? 당신은 가족입니까? 가족일 리가 있겠어요? 하지만 가족의 말을 사용하십니다. 가족들끼리는 이야기할 수 있습니다. 요즘에는 손님들의 눈높이에 맞게 이야기하려고 해서요. 감탄했습니다. 놀랐습니다. 이웃님들 보십시오. 도서관 어느 곳과도 다릅니다. 지금까지 가족이 아닌 자와 제대로 이야기해 본 적이 없습니다. 가족, 가족, 가족. 끔찍하니까 그만할래? 중요합니다. 가족은 Angela being rude moment. They're actually happy to talk to uh, talk to someone who is not a speaker, and she just bashes them. 이 동지를 감싸고 있는 안개도 말입니다. 아는 게 있으십니까? 책을 본다면 알수 있겠지. 그렇습니다. 얻고자 하는 책만 얻는다면 끝입니다. 만족할 겁니다. 좋아. 당신의 책을 찾을 수 있기를. All right. Sweepers is a reception I hate. It really is. First off, it is a free actor with only two floors available, which is good for us because we only have two floors made. However, Sweepers don't die. First off, they have a corpse cleanup, which in their case is buffed. When another character dies, we cover 20% max. <laughs> Darn it. 20% max HP at the end of that scene. Well, in the actual version, it's 5%, but they get 20%. Uh, they also have. Tr uh, not trash disposal, they have. Oh, yeah. We have 333 which is single use and unused game persistence for four turns, which means when they when we kill them, they have an 80% chance to revive with 30 HP. Yes, it is 30. I already did that once. However, this also counts to corpse, corpse cleanup, so killing them is literally a matter of luck. Or just trying to survive until uh until the persistence runs out. It runs for four turns. They have three of these cards. And just stick from the... I believe the biggest chance to do this is with Roland's floor. Because I built it more defensively. Also now with uh, with a new abnormality pages, we didn't have... Or I didn't have when I tried it when the recording didn't work. I might be able to do this. But honestly, there... Pages are very much not die related, so it's really, really hard to do it. But yeah, let's just let's just go in. Honestly, I wish I had a master tech card, but there aren't any master tech cards at this point. Hi, 
Alright. I really hate this reception, so please. Okay, he's uh, unkillable, he's unkillable, he's unkillable. But the only one we can technically kill would be this one. So we hit him with uh, Le Moulinet. And honestly, I want to hit everything on him. Their attacks don't deal a lot of damage, but if we can kill this one turn one, that would be already a very big accomplishment. So that shall be my goal. Uh, you use Transpears and wait up. And you use Daring Decision. Let's just hope it works out. So technically they don't deal that much damage. The biggest concern is their tendency to not die. Alright, we killed the first one, which is big. They stagger a lot. So we need to take that into account, but they, they don't deal a lot of damage. Okay, now all of them have persistence, which means that they do not die. Or, well, it's a 20% chance they actually die. So we can fight this normally until persistence runs out, and they don't use another persistence card at the same turn. And that's a strategy. Trash disposal is honestly uh, a bit a bit mean because um, if they roll a three on the last hit, it hits like six times, which Jesus Christ, it's diff it's it's strong. But yeah, we transpires. They all use trash disposal, which could end up dealing a lot of damage to me, but I don't I don't care. I want you to try uh, to go with this with Transpears. You use Crack of Dawn here. Actually, no. You use Fabric Shield here. And I think you use another Moulinet. Yeah, you use another Moulinet. Alright. Alright, uh, okay. We'll get urging. Urging is especially good in this one because it gains us more survivability. And we actually want that. Alright, uh... Hmm... Actually, this one can intercept here. Actually, we can intercept with him. And then you can defend with that. She cannot move. Who do you attack? You attack her, so you intercept him here. That's a stagger right there. <laughs> That's a stagger there. That's great. Alright, Lice is the page we want on her. So now all of her pages don't necessarily cost free. Which is incredible. Which makes it incredibly strong. Okay, after this turn they will not have a buff anymore. And we have to hope that they do not recast it. But honestly, I want to try killing one of them. Okay. Crack of Dawn here. 
Uh, I actually want you to pass. And you can just do daring decision here. Actually, no, not that. Daring decision here. So we try to kill both of them. Actually, no, we don't. Uh, yeah, we go with this. He staggered. This is good. He will die definitely. This is also good. Yeah, we got a we got a good rhythm going. All right. He will be persistent again. He will be persistent again. Those two will die. And this is insane for me. Because we have two we have two confirmed deaths here and we're still pretty healthy. Uh this will be a long reception by the way. I might only be able to fit this one reception in. We do this. Then we do searing sword here. Actually no. You can just pass for another turn, can't you? Actually, I don't want you to pass. I want you to fence. <laughs> this is a funny page. Uh, does he confirm to die? No, he does. You just get gambled, right? So, let's add collision to that. Wow. Okay, that one is confirmed dead. That one is confirmed dead, that's great. Now there's only two left, but they're both persistent for the next four turns, which is bad. Okay, they both attack him. Try this. Yikes. Ooh, he actually stayed dead. That's really good for me. I don't want further beats. Okay. This is probably the best page to add, and I want to give it to... Actually, why not? Veil Clash... You transpires and you gamble. You don't necessarily have to kill it. Actually, can we gamble twice and still have him clash with bad guy? Yes, we can. Okay, you staggered. This is a really good run though. He's persistent, which is bad, but meh. We might hit the 20% kill. So I'm pretty sure that this will just cancel once we killed him once. Oh, it doesn't! Great! <laughs> okay, okay, good going, good going, good going. But that was just the first act. There are two more. Okay, we'll go on with the floor of general works. 
This fight is the same as before. It's the same as before. We hope that one of them does not get the buff. They all get the buff. Okay. This will be a long this will be a harder one. Also, yeah, the buff carries over. Do I have a draw? We do have a draw attack. Actually, why don't we swap this? Repress flesh here. And you can just collision with whoever. You have to defend. So you go here. And you can just commandeer here. We attack your tech bear. Nah. All right. All right, we got one of them staggered. A now strategy would be to just focus on one of them and make them die twice, especially if they're staggered. I would like to try it off. No one attacks her anyway, so this might be enough for 30 damage. Actually, you can just add another attack from here. Okay, this costs three, which is bad. Collision here to make it even more certain that they'll die. And Trent's Pierce here. Hopefully we can just mull in that. Because we get collision here. Uh you can intercept this. You can intercept this. And add a searing sword to anyone. Let's try that. Okay. That's one sweeper down. Okay, they all get healed twice because of that. But we can do the same strategy to another one. So yeah, that's, that's our strategy here. Uh, yeah, you can just go on there. Meant weapon twice, so he will definitely be staggered. Uh, is this on hit? This is on hit, so this is good. Searing sword here. Transpierce here. That's a stagger. That's a dead sweeper. That's another dead sweeper. Great. So the only one who might die here is Roland. Ooh. We don't get pulsation at all? Actually, this is good for Roland, though. He needs to be able to defend more. Oh, we didn't hear this variation yet! Yo, that's a banger! Certified absolute banger! Actually, this makes it a better clash. Shit. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. He does a he does the res persistence thing. He dies for sure. Roland's still alive. And he will stay alive if we do this. His, his offensive dies are buffed. Oh, we only have five mana on her. Collision here. Does this even deal enough? Yeah. If anything deals enough damage, it's that page. Let's go. Dead. And dead. Oh boy! We're still in it. We are still in it. Whew. Sheesh. Now it's Anton, Lila, and Valerie. And he and Lila has health holder. Hmm. Portal family is a great page. This is probably gonna be harder. Especially with Lila's page. Okay, endure for damage, but weak for stagger on the same part is weird. But I'll take it. Mm. So yeah, they have the liquefied flesh, but they also have one more. We have Mind Holder, which is the same on Valerie and uh, Anton, and Lila has Health Holder. Health Holder would be great for, uh, for Tyrea, because then, for, then Tyrea could have a page that is less focused on having less 25% uh, le less health, and more focused on being a tank, because she has 268 max health. But first, let's try our best with this page. Regenerator's floor is going incredibly strong. Trash disposal on Lila. Unkillable, unkillable, unkillable. We have got two trash disposals on the sweeper and on Lila. <coughs> I am debating um, focusing Lila to death first. We have enough. Okay, but we want to do more things. Uh, you can still gamble here. If we manage to uh, also stagger him, that would be insane. Let's start with that turn. Basically, our main goal is right now this turn to stagger two enemies. Which is both enemies that do not get persistence this turn. Okay, we even kill Lila. Ah, oh, we didn't get the we didn't get it on her. But we're already at a 4v4. And now the trash disposal. That means he's dead. We will definitely stagger him this turn. Ouch, that's bad. That's a bad setup. He can commandeering again. Alright. That's a stagger right there. And that might spell the death of that sweeper. I have no idea how that worked, but that apparently was how counter dice worked. This is a 
made an incredibly good rub up the hill. Anyone taking Roland? No, that's good. Okay, Roland, you go here. Angel can defend herself with Transpierce. Yeah, for sure. And then, for, for good measure, a collision. What can you do? Wait up, make sure you still target this. Transpierce, make sure you still target this. That's a stagger. And that's a transpierce. Ooh, two staggers. Okay. This means we could try to kill two of them twice. Let's just see if we can see attack. He attacks here. Okay, he's alive again. That one's dead. And that one's dead. Now there's only Anton left. There's only one left. He's trying to get himself unkillable again, but I honestly do not care at this point. Hmm. Sheesh. Two gambles should make her discard everything again. Can I actually add this? Mint weapon. I don't even care who attacks how. I just roll Dell down. Two searing swords should make sure that it will not be lightly taken. And a Moulinet here for good measure. That one half Roland. And that's a dead Anton. Whoa! That was... I did not. After the first time where where I almost uh, went mental while not recording, also to kill this one with only one flaw, being general works of all flaws, that was proper unexpected. But we did it. But we did it. We did it good. <sighs> 청소부들 즐거운 Oh, you tell me, Roland. 어떤 거래길래 저렇게 필사적일까? 조바지는 청소부의 입지를 해결하기 위해 거래를 하려 했다는 건 알겠어. 더 알아낼 수 있을까? 그건 나도 모르겠네. 초대장이 이끄는 대로 가다 보면 알 수도. 근데 왜 그렇게 청소부에 집착해? 뭔가 냄새가 나서. 청소부들이 냄새 하나는 지독하지. 특히 그 꾸리꾸리한 붕대로 밥한 그릇 정도는 뚝딱 미쳤어? 농담도 못하겠네 뭐 관장님이 이렇게까지 강하게 말씀하신 적은 없으니 신경 써서 나쁠 건 없겠지 Alright, but this means we got the sweepers done and dusted So the only one left is the 8 o'clock circus Which we already felt once However, I've neglected to get those books again, which I only noticed after starting the episode and was like, yeah, I didn't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother doing it. Like, I'm not gonna bother resetting the episode just for that. Do we need to keep those? We do need, we do not need to keep a character books so we can roll it all down. Except for one, uh, except for one regular book, because I want at least one page of Lila, which 
I do not think we will get. But let's hope at least. We get two pages of Lila. That's, that's great. Oh boy. We, we get persistence? We get persistence. Huh. Looks like we only get one persistence card. But I mean, it's enough to get persistence on one person. That in itself, and persistence is a two cost. Is it worth? Is it worth putting this onto anyone? Roland, maybe. Making Roland less. Uh, making Roland even more tanky. Huh. I'll figure that out in a long time. But first, let us uh, redo the wedge office real quick. Oh, not this floor, this floor. Uh, we could already go for the uh, other Tyrea bolt, but I don't want to just yet. Let's just go in and do it. I've already done it like four times. It's incredibly easy. I don't think I'll fail this ever again. All right, let's go. Uh... Oh yeah, I've got this. I've got Yield My Flesh. So if we if we lose this cl uh, clash, we get an insanely strong card. And if we win it, we deal insane damage. So there's literally no lose. Oh you, oh that's mean. We have we've got to intercept that with something. We can gut harvest. We could gut harvest. Actually, I do not want to gut harvest. I want a tender and colds and then a queen of. You can just now die. And taste of chains. And you can just go with an overthrow. And overcome crisis. Yeah. This just works. This floor literally just works. We usually put all of our abnormality pages on HOD. Like, not gonna lie, at this point, HOD's floor is just the uh, oh shit button for me. Because the floor literally just works. I don't have to worry when I use HOD's floor. Which, to be fair, isn't that bad. It's like, it's like nice to have a page that just works, but at the same time, it takes a little bit of thrill out of it, if you honest, if you get what I mean. Whatever. Is that floor of the back streets on here? Whatever. Let's just go. That's a dead wedge office. The only one who ever gets close to dying on this floor, like consistently, is Valesa, because of her self lead too. But I've, I think I've already said that in the, uh, in the comments, but the main reason I want to keep this is for flavor. Because I don't want to have everyone I don't want everyone to have the same key page or the same setup, but at least similar. Similar is fine, at, at least as long as it's not the same. That's my main reasoning for keeping 
uh, for keeping this Jikan page on my good old Valesa. Yikes, stack it hard. Even though it is not the best page to keep. Okay, Philip's gone. We get X. This is for her. And at this point, this fight is almost over. Like, everything that happens now is just... Fair. He will not die this turn. But we can still stack bleed on him. So now the man has 16 bleed stacks, which is funny. But yeah, I just got harvest and he's dead. No need to worry too hard. But that's also 10 health. Yeah, we don't need to view this scene every time we, we do this. I've already skipped this like 10 times. Feels like. So yeah, like, Philip, still Philip. It's not too hard. We, we might lose Valesa, but I don't care. Alright. You use now die here. And then here's my chance here. Valesa dies. Valesa usually should die this turn. Ooh, Merlin it. He takes less damage, but at the same time... At the same time, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. So I will just... Uh, I will just hit him full of lead. She died to bleed. That's what usually happens at this point. Oh, I don't want to stagger your turn one. I am going to stagger your turn one. Well. What can I say? And now he goes away. Easy peasy. I don't know why I showed that on video, how I just wrecked this. I mean it's it's kind of it's kind of a good feeling to just show how it's how I can just completely wipe this now. Since before we had some issues with this. Ooh, 4% chance to boost dice uh, pierce dice power by plus one. Interesting. But not needed. I don't have the time to do the uh actually screw that. We're gonna do it anyway. We are gonna do it anyway. And best part about this is we we have the luxury to fail this twice. This is a, this is just one act, so we already watched this once in another episode. I do not intend to watch it twice. Mainly for the, for the sake of um, the video length. Alright. Now the question is, do I want to do it with bleed floor or do I want to do it with uh, tank floor? And I think I want to do it with bleed floor since I only have one available. My my problem with the last time was that I, that I used general words with three people against this. Kind of dumb. 
I think I used general workshop against this, which was really stupid, where I only have three people. And the monkey just clapped me because he has three, uh, four attacks with each hit. Okay, let's just try. We got bleed procs on those. That should be good. All right, let's try. Uh, you attack here with four hits. Okay. I want you to gut harvest and to clean up. Actually, you cannot gut harvest and clean up on the same turn. Uh, I still want you to gut harvest. Nobody attacks you. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna attack there. That means that acupuncture should go here. To at least have a chance to not get big stagger. Do you get hit? You do get hit. So my biggest goal here is to make sure that the monkey dies first. I want you to now die on that. Because she will die anyway. Alright, let's go. That's, that's big bleed. That's big bleed. Nice, he did not get the plus 5 stagger. We staggered the monkey? We almost killed the monkey in turn 1. This is kind of weird. You clean him up. You get attacked, but I might- I will not be able to, uh, change bot. Uh, overthrow here. Cause this will mean that- Yeah, whatever. Uh, you ink over the- In the clash. Yikers. You ink over here? And overcome crisis literally anywhere else. I don't even care where. And you can just acupuncture here. Yeah. Ouch. That's a stack of lion. I don't want to stagger Emma. I did stagger Emma. Monkey is dead. Okay, I want a cocoon here. Okay, this turn my goal is to kill the lion. Hmm. Who gets attacked how? Okay, Emma rolled two ones. Got harvesting here. Ink over here. Uh, we cannot now die. But we can flash a soon up here, which will almost kill that thing. And you can just acupuncture to make sure he dies and then endless battle here. I want to make sure that the small ones die first. Oh! Okay, they're back. The elephant will die this turn. Who do you attack? Okay, here. We had to now die. Uh, you attack that dice again, huh? Overthrow seems smart. 
Also, let's gut harvest him. And you attack here, which I will counter with another ink. You do a cleanup here. And you only have yield my flesh. We have no clash to lose, but we can just hit it. Alright. That's a dead elephant. I go with this. Right. We have a disadvantage on light. Actually, I want you to use the weakest skill here and the stronger skill here. You can't move. You can. All right. Hardest dagger, that's sad, but it's something I have to deal with. They reunite, that's fine. I got four dice now. Barely is free though. And they don't attack hard. They only attack Tyrea? I mean, Tyrea is fine to die now. I don't care. I want you to use clean up here and roll up back streets there. Okay, well, that's a die to bleed. Those two are almost dead. You do that here. You can overthrow literally wherever. You can overthrow Emma. Uh, yeah, Noah, I mean. And Ed, an endless battle, and Ed acupuncture. We should win this turn. Yikes. Yeah, that was... Unfortunately, that was to be expected. Do they still reunite? They still reunite. But they are both staggered. Which just means they die. Right. That was way easier than I remembered. How did we lose this first time? I do not know. Got four books of Emma and one book of Noah. Okay. 솔직히 저키큰 놈이 들어올 때 도서관 입구 무너지는 줄 알았어. 그러잖아 이 사람들을 그렇게 만든 녀석. 역시 푸른 잔향 일당과 관련이 있는 걸까? 그렇다고 판단하기에는 너무 섣불러. 여태껏 봤던 푸른 잔향에 관련한 녀석들과는 이곳에 사람을 보내는 목적 자체가 달라 보였어. 하지만 인간과는 다른 무언가가 있다는 건 확실해. 어쩌면 
그들과 비슷한 존재일지도 몰라. 어느 쪽이든 정상이 아닌 건 똑같지만. True. Oh boy. Right. Okay. So this means the next episode will be an abomination episode. Eh? Um, abomination. An abnormality episode, eh? We got the uh, realize the uh, abnormality battles for Tivereth's floor, for Gabriel's floor, and for Chesset's floor. All lined up for our taking. Looking forward to that. Not sure how I'm gonna tackle these. I think Tivereth will be a hot setup with Hot Hare and James's pages. Nevertheless, nevertheless, I'll be too, uh, too greedy. Uh, Gabby, I don't know, and for Chesset, I'm not sure either. I think I used uh, a tank setup for one of these. I think uh, I do have eight li uh, librarians set up. I need nine. But I'll, I'll find a way. However, don't we want to burn some more books? We only have one book of Noah, which is kind of sad, but we can burn three books of Emma. We do so on Chess's floor, apparently. <laughs> we have all of Noah's key pages, for sure. And all of Emma's, too. I think there are only three purple ones. Noah sure doesn't have any passive abilities. That's incredibly good as a passive. For our, uh, for one of, for, for Angel, the free cost guy, or girl, on, uh, on Ketter's floor. I love acrobatics, I mean. That is absolutely great. Yeah. Nice. So, today in 57 minutes, we managed to do the sweepers, get some good key pages from there. Do the 8 o'clock circus after doing the wedge office again. So uh, we actually accomplished some good stuff. We got the we, we got the bottom line of Urban Nightmare done. So next next up we have the upper line. Do, do we sleep both books? No, it's only needs one Emma book. So I could burn Noah's book too already. I have to farm these a little bit later for, to get all the key pages. I think I already have all the key pages here. And I think I already have all the key pages from this too. Yeah, there's only three Emma's page and five Noah's page. Thing. Yeah, there are only three purple pages in general. So we don't have to redo this. I will have to redo these. The puppets. I need. I need. I need more puppet pages, and I need more. Um, actually, let me look it up. I think there's those are blue key. Then sunset. I click everywhere except where I need to go. All right. Let me see. Weeper. Yeah, we can get two more Valerie page, two more Lila page, and four more Anton page. And we will need all those. However, Half Holder will be great for us in general, so this will be quite interesting how this will go on. Anyway, that's all I've got time for today. We're already one hour in again. The episodes are actually getting longer. <laughs> Funny how that works, eh? Next time. We will work on getting our middle flaws realized, at least for one level. And until then, I hope you guys have a great time. I certainly did have it today. And see you guys next time on Library of Runa. Bye-bye!